Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and the iPhone XS and XS Max seem to have an issue that hopefully is fixable through software. However, this issue is related to charging, and the problem is when you have the phone in a sleep, when you have the screens off, and then you plug it in with the included charger, or an iPad charger, or the larger 29 watt charger, it doesn't charge until you tap the screen and wake it up, or you sometimes have to reboot it to get it to work. It just depends on the person's situation. And so I thought I'd try and reproduce this on my iPhone XS and XS Max, and I was able to reproduce it on the XS. I haven't been able to reproduce it on the XS Max. So the idea is we plug this in, and then it doesn't charge. There's also some other issues we'll talk about, but I ran into the same issue the other day with an iPhone 8. Uh, this one was on a wireless charger, and it did the same thing. It didn't charge overnight. So let's see if we can reproduce this issue. I've got the lightning cable plugged in. Let's see if we can get it to charge just normally. So now you'll see it's charging. That's the expected behavior. If we turn the screen off, plug it in, it should charge. So this one's working okay. Again, let's try it again. And it keeps working. I couldn't reproduce it on my XS Max. On this one though, after about 10 tries, I could reproduce it. So it's definitely a real thing. Let's see if we can do it again. And I found, too, I have to let it fall asleep by itself, usually. So we'll let it fall asleep like that, wait for it, and then we'll plug it in. And now it's charging again. We'll try it again. We'll flip this over. Some people were saying they'd have to flip the cable over, over to get it to work. So let's try it here. And now it's not charging. So this is the first time I've been able to reproduce this on my iPhone XS Max. We'll tap the screen. Now it's charging. So there's definitely something going on with this particular device as far as it charging. There we go. Now I reproduced it on the iPhone XS. So there's something going on, and I'm thinking it's software related. And the reason I think that is a couple of days ago, Apple released iOS or watchOS 5.0.1, and they specifically mentioned that it wasn't charging on the charger. Now the funny thing is, when I updated the watch to 5.0.1, it actually had that problem afterwards. It didn't charge the following night. So the problem I don't think is fixed yet, but it's definitely related to software, I think, because of that. Plug it in here. And again, it's not charging. So this is very intermittent. Now I haven't experienced this problem because I normally wireless charge this, but now it's happening over and over. And this doesn't matter what it's plugged into, a computer, uh, the included charger, the iPad charger, any of those, it doesn't seem to make a difference. This happens intermittently. So I'd say probably one out of every five to 10 times it could happen. So it definitely could be a problem. So make sure that when you plug this in, that you wake it up, make sure it's charging. Other people have had the phone completely freeze when they're doing this. So keep that in mind. Now, the other thing has to do with wireless connectivity. A lot of people are reporting issues with their Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity. In fact, the first day I picked this up, I found that I had no signal for no reason where my other phone had at least three bars of signal. So there's definitely something going on to fix that. I just threw it into airplane mode and then turned it off and it seemed to fix the issue. But prior to that, it definitely had an issue and I'm not sure what's going on with that. So there's a couple issues in software that I think we'll see addressed either through 12.0.1 or iOS 12.1. It's hard to say. Let's see if we can reproduce that on the iPhone 8 as well and see if we get the same issue. So I tried this about 10 times on the iPhone 8. I couldn't get it to be reproduced. However, like I said, it did the same thing while wirelessly charging. Now the Wi-Fi issue can obviously be fixed through software because you can turn on airplane mode and turn it back off. So there's something going on there that is strange with the antennas, but also Apple could probably fix the power issue as well. Let me know if this is happening to you on a 10s or 10s Max or even an older device as well. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Apple already addressed it on the watch, but it's still not fixed for me. I get that same issue on 5.0.1. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.